Muslim opens new housing complex, spits in America's face until town learns his secret. In Joppa Town, Maryland, a man decided to open a new housing complex in the area, but he took things too far with the dirty deeds that he thought no one would notice. In fact, after he virtually spat in the collective face of Americans repeatedly, the town eventually learned of his secret and decided to fight back. Now, he's furious because his complex is unfinished, all because he was caught in the act and fed up patriots put a stop to his anti-American agenda. It all began when developer Faye Yunus partnered with Bill Luther in 2016 after Yunus's previous development partner backed out. Working together, they decided to construct a housing development along the Gunpowder River in Joppadown and named it River Run. However, at some point during their development and construction, residents in the town learned of their secret plan and how it was a slap in the face to America and everything our nation represents. The development is currently mired in contradicting legal grievances from city officials and residents after they learned what Yunus and his partner planned for the community. Come to find out, they were working to create an exclusively Islamic community by selling only to Muslims, according to Washington Post. When Yunus and Luther had partnered up, they immediately began to market the housing development to Amida e Muslims. In fact, they were successful in selling 22 lots with the aim of creating an entire retirement community specifically for that sect of Islam while discriminating against other faiths. Of course, when Yunus learned that the town had discovered his dirty little secret and began to put a stop to it, he began to cry discrimination. In fact, he and Luther filed a lawsuit against Hartford County officials in September, alleging that its refusal to continue issuing building permits for the project was discriminatory against Muslims according to Daily Caller. However, their allegations began to fall through when real estate agent Gina Pimento filed a valid complaint. The complaint was filed with the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, alleging that she couldn't get any information about River Run, Yunus community. Pimentel had learned that Yunus and Luther were unlawfully privately marketing and selling only to Ahmadi Muslims. Her complaint came from a business perspective considering that she would be unable to sell any homes in the area if it were an exclusively Muslim community, nor would money lenders who charge interest be able to operate in the area, as Muslim usury laws forbid interest. Of course, Yunus had an excuse up his sleeve. He simply stated, there are many Jewish, Christian communities, we're not reinventing the will here. However, what he's doing is discriminatory. In fact, a website belonging to Majlis Ansola USA, a Maryland-based Muslim group, previously advertised River Run as Answer Housing Complex and stated, this will be a community of 49 spacious brand new homes, villas, for Amani Muslims with a dedicated mosque within walking distance. Of course, as soon as the lawsuit was filed, the website later replaced the initial language with an update, advertising an audio feed from the mosque to the community for daily prayers but eventually, that language was also removed. As expected, county officials stopped issuing building permits for the river-run properties, ultimately halting construction on the development. As a result, the Muslims who purchased the 22 properties were involuntarily placed in a difficult position, considering their homes weren't legal to live in. Luther, who is the chief executive of Gemcraft Homes, filed a lawsuit against Hartford County officials alleging that the delay of permits was motivated by racial and religious animus to keep members of the Islamic faith from purchasing lots and exercising their religious freedoms. The leading problem on this project is the housing discrimination, Maryland State Delegate Richard Impolaria said. We really don't need a group of people coming and that's going to isolate themselves from the rest of the community, come in and do an end run around state, federal, county laws. It's not a good way to start out as a good neighbor. While the lawsuit is ongoing, the developers are unable to proceed with their plans. They can build the houses but they can't put anybody in them, said County Director of Administration Billy Boniface at a September 11 Community Advisory Board session. The county has to apply the law the same as they would to any other development across the board in order to show that they are being fair, and that is what we are doing. I know there are some people who are upset with the development.
I know the developer is very upset that the county is not letting the development move forward. You don't get to simply construct a discriminatory establishment because you feel it is right. You have to go through the proper channels, following the same rules as everyone else, and sometimes the answer is no. Trying to do it behind closed doors is a slap in the face to America and proves, once again, how slithery and disgusting certain people can be with their disturbing double standard. If Muslims want to live in a community where only the followers of Islam are welcome to reside, it sounds like they would enjoy life more in a Muslim-majority country. America put an end to segregation, and we won't let progressive leftist ideals take us backward. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.